Right, we're going to take a little look at Postcard Creator. And there are a number of apps on the market for creating postcards and there are a number of uses for these. It could be a nice way to review work that you've been doing. Maybe show a picture of it and then write a little description as a review. It could be a way to demonstrate work. Um, could even be used as a way to introduce new information um, or connect at the start of the lesson. If you get students to write on a postcard, um, postcard even, maybe what they know about the topic already. So let's have a little look at this very simple app. This is it here. Open it up. It gives you a little how-to if you're not sure how to use it. For now I'm going to click, click create. Once I'm here in the create section, it's really simple. I can insert a picture either by taking a picture, so I can take a photo on the spot, or I can go to my gallery and choose a picture. So I'll just very quickly choose this one. You can reposition the picture and you can zoom in or zoom out if you wish to. I'm quite happy with it so I'm just going to hit the tick. And then to put the text in I hit that bit there and I can start typing. get the idea and it'll then start creating the postcard. So it's as simple as that, nice easy app um, to create something which can then be saved and sent. So if I wanted to do that now I can hit this little button here to say I'm happy with it and then I can share it. There are various ways I can do this um, students do have the ability to send emails via Gmail, but remember they won't be able to email it to their Frog account. Probably the easiest way to use this is to save it under their SD card, which is done automatically, and then they could upload it to the class blog from there. But you can see here there are various options for sharing if they have a preference. Remember all students have a Google Documents account, where they could upload it and students should also have created um, an Evernote account and should be able to share it with Evernote if you need a way of getting to this postcard from the device.